Angus T. Jones, who is uh, the young celebrity on Two and a Half Men, uh, decided to participate in a video for Forerunner Chronicles. Now, this is a religious church and a religious website. And in the video, he's talking about his experience with Two and a Half Men. And here's what he had to say. Two and a Half Men, if you watch Two and a Half Men, please stop watching Two and a Half Men. I'm on Two and a Half Men. I don't want to be on it. Please stop watching it. Please stop filling your head with filth. Please. It's, it's, you know, people say it's just entertainment. The, the fact that it's entertainment, it, it's, do some research on the effects of television and your brain, and I promise you, you'll, you'll have a decision, you'll have a decision to make when it comes to the television, and especially with what you watch on the television. Uh, it, it's bad news. It's bad news. So it turns out that he's been going to um, religious classes, and, and as he learns more about the Bible, he has realized that his participation in the show is sinful. Now, it's so sinful that he has decided to uh, stop working for Two and a Half Men. Oh, really? Except that's not true. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you feel like it's such a bad show and no one should watch it, maybe you should quit. But he says that he isn't quitting because he has a year left on his contract yeah. and that God must want him to be there for another year. Okay, so that's his interpretation of it. Here's why he's really staying there. He's making $350,000 per episode. Oh, that's fucking mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing. That's mind -blowing. insane. Oh, we, on the show yesterday, you talked about how much celebrities get for their appearances. But it's, what, a 20-minute show when you account for commercials? And, like, that would pay for me to do my job for an absurd number of years. And there's, like, what, four or five jokes in those 20 minutes on two and a half minutes? Like, I'm going to throw uh, under the bus the show. I'll, I'll preface by saying I've never watched a full episode, nor would I want to. I understand that it's just entertainment. As he said, like, people like watching stupid shows. Like, one of my favorite shows of all time is Married with Children. Yeah. It is no more intellectual or deep than two and a half men. I totally understand that. But there's some shows, also Big Bang Theory. That's a very stupid show. I like that. But Two and a Half Men just seems like, like if you programmed like a very basic artificial intelligence to make a sitcom, that's what it would crank out is Two and a Half Men. Just mm -hmm. stupid mm -hmm. shit. And thankfully he notices that too. And he doesn't want you to fill your minds with stupid nonsense anymore. He wants you to apparently go to church and read the Bible. Yeah, it's one thing to argue that the show isn't intellectually stimulating, right? Mm. But he's not coming at it from that perspective. He's coming at it from, oh, it turns out that the Bible says that this stuff is bad and we shouldn't like it. Mm. If you don't like it, if you're truly religious and you believe this stuff, then find a way to quit, yeah. right? If you truly believe in your religion, don't find some ridiculous excuse about how God wants you to be there for another year. God doesn't give a shit. Like, or if God really existed, God isn't going to sit there and be like, hmm, do I want Angus T. Jones to be on Two and a Half Men for another year? You know what? Yes, I'm going to sign the paperwork. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's, it's just so stupid. If God was real, he wouldn't have allowed Charlie Sheen to make all that much money. Yeah. But, but perhaps we should actually support what he's doing because he's having his cake and eating it too. He's going out there and saying, this show is stupid. Don't watch it. It's dumb. But he's taking their money at the same time. It's kind of rebel. Yeah, I guess. Except he sounds like a whiny little... You know what? Look, I'm glad that he's speaking out against the show. I don't have a problem with him. I have a problem with the show, and I have a problem with the fact that they're paying people $350,000 to do that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Um, but look, when he started, what, what was he, like nine when he started on the show or something? He was a little kid. He looks like he's like 19 now. You, over that period of time, you learn a lot about yourself. Like, it, I think it's understandable that he would have some sort of evolution as a person. Um, I think that if, he w if it's religious in nature, your point makes a lot of sense that he should leave then. If he actually thinks that it's sinful and that it's corrupting people, it seems kind of irresponsible of him to continue with here's, it. Here's what my problem is with this, right? Because it highlights the problem with most religious people. They love to be self-righteous. They love to mm -hmm. talk down at other people, right? But whenever they're taking advantage of some of these sins or whenever they're sitting themselves, they always go back to, oh, but God intended it to be this way. Uh -huh. Like they f somehow find immunity, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and I don't like that excuse. If you can't pick and choose parts of the Bible and parts of your religion that you like, right? If you're gonna say that something is sinful and it's filth and you don't agree with it, then follow through 
and quit the show. And I understand, I know people are going to send comments about this. I understand that he's under contract, and if he does quit, I mean, he is an important part of the show. If he does quit, there could be consequences for that. They could take him to court, who knows, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he can pay $350,000 and rid himself of that problem. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if, if he does stop after one year, if the show continues on after him.